Okay, this is Jacob Schmidt with DeerHuntingSchool.com. Um, looking at a little uh, piece of property here. Um, and I'm going to just show you the property line here. This uh, property runs from about, about this corner right here. And down through here, down here, and kind of cuts back. And then down through here, and then down along this road for a little ways. And then back away from the road just a little bit and it runs down here to this fence row you see this fence row cuts across through here back up to this fit to this edge of woods comes back to this corner and then kind of at, a, at an angle over here to this fence row and then down the fence row up to here here and then back down here and then back out through here okay this uh if you, if you just as you see when you look at this property um it's not an entirely lot of wooded area um in 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 my opinion that makes it much easier to find um, um good hunting spots with aerial photos okay because you don't have a entirely bunch of woods that you're having to try to look at and analyze and things like that because when you're looking at woods you can get an idea you know how I like to look at um, some of the thinner areas the um, looks like thicker areas and stuff so you don't have to analyze a lot of that stuff here basically I mean most of this looks like uh, it's going to be hunting funnels um, unless you you know you have some certain type of really good food source up in the, in the midst of them um, possibly, possibly, I'm not sure what that is. I think that's just a shadow. I was thinking maybe that was a pond, but I don't, I don't see any, um, pond or anything, but, um, it is definitely an agricultural area. There is for sure, um, you know, food source. I don't see any water. Um, well, there's some water here. There may be some creeks and stuff in the, inside these, these, um, lines. I do not see any. Did I, I I'm for sure seeing them or for sure creek. Um, but anyways, guys, this is, uh, looks like there's a creek here. Looks like there's a creek bed here. It runs out through here. Sure is. I'm 90% I'm sure that is. Yeah, that's a that's a creek. Okay. Looks like maybe a dry creek most of the time. But anyways, um, like I said, guys, this is looks like a lot of funnels in this area. Looks like it's going to be a lot of funnel hunting on this land. Uh, makes it much easier for setting up with uh, using aerial photos to find good spots. So what we're going to do, we're just going to uh, snap a picture here. I'm going to take a picture here, and we're just going to um, draw at it and look at some things. So guys, you know, when you look at properties like this, a lot of times you you just, you know, you'll see, and these are this type of property is mostly a travel corridor where deer can, you know, a lot most of the deer will probably bet on, on other properties. Um, but there's definitely food on this. Um, you've got this large field here. I'm sure there's some oak trees down through here. Um, you've got a large field here. Um, some type of agricultural fields. I'm not sure. It could be hay. Um, it could be all kinds of things, guys. But you've definitely got some larger uh, agricultural fields down through here. Um, there's there's one here. So the deer's got food, okay? Um, so... We're going to, like I said, we're just going to snap a picture and, and talk about some things. I'm going to draw out some funnels and things like that because there's several funnels on this property that look like they'll be um, some pretty good looking uh, funnels, okay? And there's a couple conversion points where two funnels meet together, um, things like that. So let's go ahead and do that and, and uh, talk about this dude a little more and we'll draw out some funnels and stuff and let you guys look at it. Okay, here we go. I'm going to draw a, a property line and, and it runs down this, this road here here um, from you know about here that's like a corner um, it goes up somewhere like this this is pretty close to the property line okay um, it runs up through here um, like that and down down through here down like that um, down like that and then it runs down this road here a little bit and kind of hits the road and it runs down the road okay um, one spot here um, you can't see it super, super good on this, um, but you've got a, 
a small funnel um, right here as these woods neck down and these deer can these these woods neck down okay you've got a small funnel right here guys um, in this area right here and you've got another uh, funnel that's running through here okay so you've got a spot right here that is a conversion funnel I would say where two can where two funnels meet together as a conversion okay so you've, you've got that you've got a funnel here guys where the, the it's 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 funneling the deer down you've got a funnel here right on the property line there okay you've got a funnel here it runs down through here and you can see it perfectly on that guys you can see that the funnel there that's exactly what a funnel is okay you've got a funnel down through here um, you know where this big X is there, there's a funnel there okay you've got a funnel here guys this connecting large woods to other large woods you've got a funnel here okay right in this area here is the narrow part of that funnel okay I'm gonna um, You've got a point, a large point of trees. These here, guys, these these areas here, you really um, look, really watch, this, you know, look at stuff like this, walking it, um, looking at it, you know, pretty good. Um, because it's sometimes, guys, if you've got deer, does feeding out here, these points like this can get really hot with bucks coming out in them, um, staging, um, and scent checking those and stuff that's out in these fields, especially if the does are getting out in here, okay? Um, so, like, if you were sitting back, you know, at an observation stand and you were noticing a lot of does feeding out in here or a few does feeding out here every evening, um, you may have bucks back in these points, okay? Um, staging up, setting back, and just waiting um, till dark or whatever to come out really in the field. And they'll come in and scent checking these does and things like that. Okay, you've got a funnel here. On this fence row, um, especially if that fence row's grown up real good, so that fence row's a funnel, um, funnel there, and uh, that looks like most part of the funnel. I mean, you could even this here could even be a funnel, guys here, um, because that's only about a hundred yards wide. If you're gun hunting, especially you, this, which is definitely. Funnel. So I'm going to put a blue X on all the all the the, the my, this is one. I'm going to put a blue X on all the funnels so that they they stand out. Here's a funnel. Remember here, guys. There's a there's a l small funnel right here that just comes right here where it comes in, okay. And then you've got this funnel here that's coming down. So you've got the funnel here. This is the actual conversion funnel, okay. This is where two funnels converge together, okay. Conversion funnel there, okay. This is okay. Where there's two funnels coming together. Here's um, here's another funnel here, okay. Some of my drawings is kind of messed up. Where I can't see the. Uh, and here's a funnel, okay. Um, this here, I just put two X's on it. There's definitely a funnel here. Um, there's definitely a funnel here, okay. And you've got this point, okay? I just talked about that. Um, and areas like this too, guys, are real good early season, or actually any time of the season, because you can set up observation stands. If these deer are feeding out in these fields, you can set up observation stands or pull up in your vehicle and just sit here um, and look and see where the deer are coming in and out of these fields to feed and things like that. And you can really set up on them. Another hot field that might be get really hot is this is see this little bitty spot right here I've got a, the yellow over it but to see this little bitty triangle looking field there um, that may be a really hot field because it's it's not very big and it has cover almost all the way around it okay so that may be a field that you could actually hunt um, it may be pretty hot so anyways I hope this video here helped you out um, it's got several funnels on this property. Now there are other, there are food sources that the deer could use. There, I know for sure there's, there's, I don't know for sure, but I'm, 
I'm, I'm 90% sure, 99% sure that there's going to be some oak trees in here that's going to produce acorns, um, things like that. The deer have food in the fields. Um, there could be other types of food that these deer are using, um, things like that. But there's several funnels on this property to uh, check out, um, look for scrapes, rubs, heavy traffic. Um, and you should be able to definitely, like I said, with funnels, guys, you should, it should not be unmistakable if deer are using them funnels. They should have fairly well beaten down paths, especially later in the season as the ground really begins to wore down. Um, so, hope you enjoyed this video here. This is Jacob Schmidt with DeerHuntingSchool.com. Um, check out DeerHuntingSchool.com for more information on deer hunting. Guys, leave questions, po uh, comments, and things like that on the videos and the posts and things like that, guys. Um, it really helps me out. Um, and and don't be afraid to, to think that your um, that your question may be silly or whatever like that, guys. There are, are numerous amounts of people that that uh, you know don't that that has some questions that they think that's silly, guys. And if you just keep thinking your question's silly, um, you'll never get that answered. Um, guys, you, you ask questions, and if they're good questions and stuff, I'll make videos on them um, explaining the the questions. So. Don't be afraid to ask questions, you know, and don't think that your question is silly, guys. Um, I've hunted for, since I was a, a little kid, I had a little break in it as I was an adult. Um, some bad stuff happened, and, you know, I didn't get to hunt for a few years. Um, and, you know, kind of lost everything I had. It's a long story, but, um, and I don't. Guys, I've hunted my whole life. Um, deer hunted for over 20 years, and, guys, there are things that, um, I do not know. I, I learn every day. Um, I watch, you know, a lot of uh, deer hunting, read a lot of books and things like that about deer hunting, um, about deer and stuff, and I learn stuff every single day, guys, almost that I, when I'm reading and things like that. So don't be afraid to post a comment. Um, don't be afraid to ask a question. Don't think that it's, it's going to make you look silly, things like that. Just, guys, just post some questions and stuff like that, and I'll be glad to answer them. may even make a video on them. Um, Anyways, appreciate it. This is Jacob Schmidt with DeerHuntingSchool.com. Have a good day and bye-bye.